good morning youtube so welcome back to my channel um i thought today that i would do a little um routine um day just to show sort of what i do for my routine it's pretty much same same every day um i'm training legs today um so i'll show you kind of what i do in terms of my my working and um just structure about my day just to get everything done like i actually started to build this routine um when i was on prep last year and um, well yeah pretty much the whole of last year when i had like three jobs um and obviously working them as well as like getting everything everything and every shit done so it's half past five <laughs> um so basically i'm gonna show you what i do um and why i kind of do them things like obviously I, like because i started doing these things when i was so 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 busy like obviously my my intentions back then was obviously to be where i am now in terms of like full-time online coaching whereas before i was literally doing like my my coaching my in tra training people in the gym i was doing dog walking i had um a part-time job doing home care assistance as well through covid and um, so that was like driving to people's houses and stuff like that so everything had to be like time managed and set in routine so that i could actually get done what i needed to get done whilst obviously still doing all these things so i've kind of just kept up with that routine in terms of the times that i get up the things that i do before certain things to help with sort of um everything else across the day um so yeah obviously i'm not as busy now in terms of like having to be places um but my structure stays the same so that i can actually give a lot more back to kind of like obviously the clients and my own training um, and making sure that you know i'm putting as much effort into that as i can so yeah that was a half five waffle hope you enjoyed it i'm going to show you my routine today so let's go so one thing i always do is on a night time i always fill up um one of these bottles with water or juice and um so that i've got it upstairs already for me for so i can just start drinking when i wake up i don't usually have it with vimto in it but i was feeling a bit vimto -y last night so that's why that's got that in there um also on because today is wednesday is my check-in day um i sent my pictures over yesterday and i always do my fasted blood glucose on a check-in day after i've drank water so obviously hydration and um fasted for those so i'm going to do them now so five it's actually quite good actually because obviously i'm pushing my carbs and stuff at the moment and my calories um it usually sits between 4.5 and 5.2 so this is pretty pretty decent for me to be honest when I was on prep, it did actually go down to like, I think it was like two, um, which is just like, yeah, you know you're in prep when it's there. So this is my office, and today is check-in day, so. And I hope that you're okay. Um, fantastic week. This week, steps have been hit perfect, training has been hit perfect. Um, even though we've had one of the days which was a little bit stressy, we um, we've still managed to hit everything that we needed to do um, across the board this week, and we've seen such a lovely steady decline in the weight as well. Um, even after um, your off plan um, on D -d 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 Sunday, um, we've still seen the way to just stabilize and come down which means that you actually you know you've, you're choosing foods that are fitting well with you and also you're structuring them in a way that isn't taking you out of the deficit which is absolutely perfect and i don't actually want to make any changes to food or anything um for this week i think we've got things in a really good spot 
um, and also the training as well. Um, I'm going to run this training set up for, um, for this week. So this will be our last week on this one and then next week we're going to put in the new um, training setup which will be um, a little bit more structured to sort of push pull legs um, rather than our upper lower which I think will be really exciting because obviously we've um, we've built our foundations on that setup now we can actually go forward and um, and delve a little bit deeper with some, some more exercises and a little bit more volume so that is the plan. So it's half past six now. I've done all my check-ins. Um, so what I do is I'll, I'll go through all my check-ins, um, give them the feedback, tell them what they need to do early on the morning. And then I'll plan my day. And then I will write in my journal, my gratitude journal. This is actually really helpful um, because everyone kind of gets in like them little pits of like feeling like shit and I think practicing gratitude or having attitude of gratitude is it just brings you out of like your head your thoughts affect how you go about your day and how you approach things and for me being able to constantly remind myself of all the amazing opportunities that anyway it's just good and that's why <laughs> so anyway that's what i do uh, so another thing is organization skills level five thousand and um, i literally have everything written down either in my planner or on my whiteboard or in my whiteboard in my bedroom <laughs> if it's not on a whiteboard it's not getting done. So every morning my day starts with either a walk around the streets or um, the gym. Today we're going to the gym um, which is about 10 minute drive but I will go I always go and get coffee from Greg's as well because it's cheap and I don't know where I parked my car <laughs> I do this fucking every day like fuck <laughs> it um, it's a good job there's no one up at this time because they just see me wandering up and down the street trying to find my car Sometimes I have to just press the button so that I know where it is. Ah, it's here. Thank the Lord for parking sensors, that's all I'm saying. On this bloody street. So yeah, what I was saying before my camera dropped on the floor like I knew it was going to do is <clears throat> I'll always do my check-ins first, client replies, things like that. Things that from the night before so that everyone's kind of got any questions that they needed answering when they wake up. And then obviously people will send me their form videos and um, things like that. So I'll always go out and do my steps and my cardio what I need to do in the morning so half past six to sort of half past seven quarter to eight is kind of when I do that kind of stuff um, and then I'll show you the rest as I go so I've just arrived at Greg's now um, which is just around the corner from my house I used to always go and get McDonald's coffee because McDonald's coffee is really underrated underrated under, yeah underrated it's a good cup of coffee but there's literally none where 
I live now with the drive through because I live quite close to like Newcastle centre all the McDonald's are like in the centre so you have to like walk there but it's just something I need to get on my route so Greg's is on my route it's cheap it's a good cup of coffee it does the job um, and there's about 4,000 Greg's in Newcastle in case you didn't know so yeah gonna go and get my uh, my coffee now there is a queue because people like to get their sausage rolls <laughs> for their work um so yeah i'm going going to go and do now i'm not going to make this super obvious but i'll show you the queue <laughs> for greg's because it's quite it's big bigger than it usually is this time of day maybe i'm like a little bit behind schedule but look i'll show you right out the bloody door so I've got my coffee we've arrived at the gym for steps so what I tend to do what I tend to do on my mornings is I'll do 45 to 50 minute walk on the treadmill and then I will do my vacuum training and also some ab work as well So just done my steps, abs and vacuums. Um, I've done four, I don't know if you can even see it, probably backwards, 4,700 steps. So I always try to do around four or 5,000 um, steps in the morning just because it's just bagged then. Um, and then obviously I'll just top the rest up throughout the day. So I'm gonna head back home now. <clears throat> Um, it is half seven. Well, no, it's quarter, like quarter to eight. So I get home, make meal one, and then um, start doing the rest of my work for the morning. So it is eight o'clock. Um, just got back from the gym and made my breakfast. So eggs are still the same. So I've um, got 150 ml of egg white, two eggs. 100 grams of veg um, in there and then I've also got the reintroduction of oats which is 50 grams of oats and 100 grams of berries this is a big breakfast like I'm not gonna lie but it does take me a while to eat it but that's fine I, I'm hungry again after an hour <laughs> um, so yeah so what I, what I always tend to do in terms of my morning routine is obviously I get my important bits done in the morning before I do my own stuff and then I'll make sure that I obviously go and do my steps, my cardio and then I'll have my breakfast um, before I then go back upstairs to to do like the next sort of block of work. Um, I think it's important to make sure that you kind of set times to do certain things and then you know that that's that time that you do that. So like I obviously will get sort of messages and stuff through throughout the day and obviously videos and stuff um, but I always make sure that the clients know that they get them responses obviously in you know within a couple of hours um, but you know it's it's when I can actually be sat down and focused rather than like you know while I'm, while I'm eating my breakfast looking at people's videos like I'm not fully there when I'm doing that so I always make sure that I have delegate the time specifically for that task that I'm doing and then it, it, it helps with my stress because obviously when you've got like so many different people like communicating all the time you can't be fully present and fully like 
engaged with with what they're doing if if you're you know replying to people's videos of training whilst you're kind of i don't know on your way somewhere or whatnot so everything has its set time so eight o'clock to half past eight is meal one and then we go back upstairs and do the rest of well i've just had my check-in response actually from meg so i'll listen to my message whilst i um have my breakfast so obviously i'm in off season now and i'm in like a push phase so food is going up things like that so my body weight is increasing so i've been stressing but obviously this is why you have a coach so they can tell you what you don't see to make sure that things are going according to plan and i'm not just getting out of shape because my main goal for this obviously off season is to be able to obviously put on as much muscle mass as possible but not get too out of shape so that when i do start prep i'm just like miles away from where i need to be so i got quite a nice voice message from meg this morning um so i'll let you have a listen week you've got the uh, foods in, in a bit more of a surplus you're never going to find that, that things hold still one thing that is better this week compared to last week is your body composition like you look leaner this week compared to last week if i look at the pictures you look bigger and um, but you do look leaner so in terms of progression we're actually seeing things move really nice and one thing that's really exciting is the level of density and thickness that we can actually see through your back at the moment. And I can tell the difference between a little bit of body fat and something where you've actually got a little bit of muscle pop. And we're seeing that really nicely, which is really exciting. And um, I know that you may not like the pictures quite so much, but honestly, I really like them. And you do look strong, you do look big, you do look great. Don't need to change anything at all in regards to um, expenditure, I don't need to change anything in regards to um, lowering foods or anything like that because things are in a really great place. We want to keep the 20 minutes of cardio there for on your rest days because it keeps a level of... So yeah, basically, we're doing all right. So very happy with that this morning. I'll show you my pictures, actually. So you can see that's my back shot. So she is a bit right, like, I mean, I have looked a hell of a lot worse at this body weight before. Um, obviously, front shot isn't the uh, the most flattering, but we all know that. Um, but yeah, getting me very excited for my leg session today. So yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to, to post that. Stunning, um, very happy with these. <clears throat> um, the position on the front leg is absolutely spot on and we are getting very good depth into the glutes there what i would say is i would elevate that back leg as well just a little bit um so maybe pop in your back foot onto another plate as well just so that you can get further down without bashing your knee um as you come down and it'll just allow for you to actually pop them hips back just a touch more um, and get a little bit lower into the glutes. But in terms of the position um, that you're holding there, it's really, really nice. Um, no forward knee flexion at all. Um, and you're keeping the core nice and tight and chest up as well. So really, really good set this. It is now half past ten. Um, just finished all the bits of work that i wanted to get done this morning um and done some planning and some little social post plan stuff um i'm now going to go out for a little walk with the dog um i do a little 20 minute walk after um this bit of work because i'm going to train so i'm going to have my pre-workout at 11 so i do a little walk after my work just to kind of get myself fresh, stick a podcast on, get some steps in um, and just kind of disconnect from, from work before I then obviously have my pre and then go and do my session. Um, well, the dog hasn't come with me today because he's gone to the groomers. So he'll come with me on my, uh, my second walk. So I didn't film it before, but my I always have my morning supplements um, 
which is omega-3, multivitamin, vitamin D, um, I have husks, um, vitamin C powder, um, uh, what else? Propaganda as well. I always have that in the morning and I also start taking it post-workout as well just because obviously it is um, does help with cortisol and obviously stress from training can just help to reduce that. Um, so yeah, I've had three litres of water so far um, and yeah just getting some steps in everybody has had a really good check-in this morning um, feel very very motivated everyone's doing really well and um, so I'm very uh, very happy about that I actually cut off there because I had to delete some things because I've got 40 million clips on here from the last couple of YouTubes that I've done <laughs> um, so yeah basically that was just a waffle and I can't really remember what I said but I am um, just about to finish my little walk now um, bloody lovely sunshine lovely weather and also how a lush is this front door like I'm obsessed with good front doors look at this one So it is 11, um, I'm just going to have a pre-workout now, which is actually 70 grams of oats now, um, 10 grams of dark chocolate, 100 grams of berries and 30 grams of whey. I've actually got this gold standard whey at the minute, which my friend Rachel very kindly gifted to me. Um, she gave me two tubs the other week. Um, which have seen me through it's actually really nice um so thank you rachel for that probably not watching but thank you <laughs> um so yeah this is my pre-workout um i'm gonna probably set off to the gym in like 40 minutes and it takes like half an hour drive um just to make sure that you know digestion is all sorted and then i can get in to my session um so i've got legs today a back on normal volume as well so that's really exciting got a hack squat today so i need to get myself mentally prepared for that but yeah i'm very excited to uh i keep saying that i'm really excited about things but i just genuinely am like <laughs> um i feel like i say that a lot in these videos um but but I just I just am so so there <laughs> um so yeah I'm gonna have this now and then obviously go to train I don't know if I'll film my actual training um probably not um but yeah legs today and then I'll show you sort of how the rest of the day rolls kind of after a leg session and um, it is a lot harder to do things post leg session um so that's why i always make sure that i have like a good solid like three four hours before i actually do my training of work so that i know all my clients are sorted everything's done what i need to be done like in terms of like mental capacity because anybody who's done a hefty leg session knows that there isn't a lot you can do after apart from lion horizontal <laughs> so i have to make sure that if there's anything important that i need to do it gets done first um so that i am not stressing about thinking of doing things when i'm in my session um i can just literally get in and get cracked on so yeah gonna have this what's up guys another uh, leg day coming in um today maybe is... watch a little bit of um hunter lagrada before we uh rotary legs as well can't miss um, uh, the next one we're gonna be talking through each exercise kind of tipping and so it is three o'clock and I've just got back from the best leg session I think I've ever had in my life. Um, yeah, just the energy, the strength, the just, yeah, it was just, it was just mint. I literally, I'm buzzing. I'm still buzzing. So I PB'd my hack squat as well for a pause set. Um, I'll show you this last set, if you can see. <laughs> I 
absolutely buzzing. So I got up 10 kilos on my last session as well. So I'm gonna have my post-workout, which is 75 grams of cream of rice, 100 grams of frozen berries, and 30 grams of whey. And I'm also gonna have my ashwagandha as well, which I said, I uh, started having post-workout. So gonna dig in. Right, so it is half past four now, and I've just finished um, client class in the sunshine, and I've got meal four, which is yogurt with frozen berries <laughs> um, and almond butter. Um, so yeah, the dog's not having it. So it is. 5.36 and I've actually smashed my steps today. My step target is only 12,000 um, but I am going to go for a little just 10 minute walk round the block. I have like loads of different routines that I do based on how many steps I need to hit um, so I'm just literally just going to go and finish them off. Um, and then it'll be ready for my fifth meal at six. Um, when I have a training day, my last sort of four meals are <clears throat> pretty close together. So I have my post workout at like half three, and then four o'clock, six o'clock, eight o'clock, and then it's bedtime. So yeah, I'm just going to go for a little walk around the block now, and yeah. I feel like I've had about 40,000 costume changes on this, um, this, this video <laughs> since this morning. Um, so yeah, in terms of routine, I always have a walk around this time, especially when I have a training day because obviously meals are a little bit closer together just to help with digestion. Obviously my uh, food is, it's not massively high, but for me, um, it is still quite high especially sort of the post workout and then obviously the yogurt is quite voluminous um, if I am feeling less like if I'm feeling too full I will just have egg whites instead because it's not as bulky um, but obviously it's roasting today so I add my um, my berries and my frozen berries and yogurt because it's a bit like ice cream Ooh. Um, so yeah, I'll always make sure I have a little walk and then obviously have my fifth meal which is just, it's a no carb meal so it's just chicken, veg and fruit um, and then I have my pre-bed meal which is oats again, I literally live off oats, <laughs> um, I think the day that I, uh, that I get sick of oats is the day that you know it's time to end all this because <laughs> I love oats um, so yeah I have that pre-bed meal in um, basically just to sort of help me sleep a little bit more I've been I was struggling sleeping um, for a little bit um, just because I was so hungry on a night um, so the the pre-bed carbs it just helps to sort of get a good a good night's sleeping um, so yeah I tend to just have a little bit of a chill now um, and just start sort of winding down. I've done everything what I need to do in terms of work. Everyone's got everything that they need. Um, you know, no one's stuck with every, with anything. Everyone's been replied to and, um, and I can just sort of have some chill time now um, and enjoy the sunshine. What are you making? What? What are you making? The dog's dinner. <laughs> the dog's dinner. The dog gets better food than me. <laughs> Don't ya? Are you getting sausage and gravy? <laughs> so it is half past six. And I'm gonna have this, which is just green beans, 100 grams of chicken. You're not getting any puppy. You're not getting any. Um, and then I've got 100 grams of mango. Um, anybody who says that I don't understand what it's like to live with people who eat normal food, I've got to look at these whilst I cook. 
and temptations everywhere but we stick to the plan because we've got a job to do so what I actually do as well is I always fill out my um, tracker sometimes I do it on my phone um, but I'm going to treat you all to doing it on my computer today so steps was there and then we actually trained at 12 today um, very much desired to train good good I've been in quite good energy today actually probably because I've been excited about doing this video not had much stress hunger, no tin Um, because I like a spreadsheet and I like to um, make sure that I'm sticking to things so I made this little this little chart so all my meals have been on point yeah I've got all my water in I've hit my steps sleep I go off the, the night before so last night I got seven and a half hours so that gets a yes um, I haven't done any learning today so that's a no I will do some tomorrow though because I don't have any check-ins on a Thursday I keep Tuesdays and Thursdays free on a more like mornings for check-ins just so that I can actually have that time for if I need to do any new client plans or um, anything like that so I always use that time to do the learning there so that's a no on that one I have done some mindful, mindfulness today, um, basically just the morning gratitude journaling, um, writing down things that I am thankful for, that I'm appreciative of, um, and then also listen to some mindfulness podcasts as well, just to help me just see things a little bit clearer, clearer, that's not even a word, clearer, so I'll put a yes in there. And I've done some pausing as well. So then I give myself a little score. So that's 11. So then at the end of the week, I'll add them all up and then give myself an adherence score out of 100%. So yeah, this is just something I made the other day <laughs> um, and thought it was quite uh, quite cool to uh, to track my, uh, my adherence because you can actually like, you know, think you've had a solid week really, but if you don't really check it off day by day as much. I know this is really anal, but, you know, bodybuilders, aren't we? So we need to be uh, anal about these things. <laughs> I'm going to start winding down now. Um, basically, from like half past seven onwards, I tend to switch off my phone. Well, not switch off my phone, but not go on my phone. Um, spend some time just watching TV, chilling. Um... And just sort of getting ready for bed i'll have my last meal at eight o'clock um and then obviously just sort of have sometimes i've been doing some reading on a night um i've got a really good book actually um from brene brown she is a legend if um if you have if you don't know brene brown get to know brene brown because she is the queen um so yeah i've been reading her book um which I got off Jade. She got me it as a lovely gift because she knows how much I love Brene. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's usually what I do on a night time. Getting distracted by that guy's bum behind me. Um, so I can literally um, get cracked on with that. On a rest day, obviously it's a little bit different. Same sort of morning routine, same sort of flow with work. But obviously when I would train, I tend to try and do something either... Um, like learning so like I'll do some 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 of my coursework stuff um, or I will do some little bits and bobs to help clients so some like videos um, just anything that I've kind of picked up on from their like check-ins or anything that I think will help in general just to to keep them going um, whether that be like food related mindfulness related um, 
help with training and um, support in that way I'll always kind of do that in that same time segment that I would when I would be training or sometimes I do walk into town get a coffee um, do a little bit of work in town for a little bit of a change of scenery to sort of get steps in and stuff like that um, I should have said that I do mobility on them days which I have been doing of recent but this is that's a new introduction um, I haven't always done mobility on a rest day that like this is a new thing because I am like a plank of wood at the moment <laughs> So yeah, mobility is in on rest day as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my day. Um, it's pretty much same, same. I like routine. I like to know where I'm at at certain times. I like to live the same sort of thing, flow. You know, obviously not every, every day is different, but I like to keep it as consistent as I can. Um, especially with things like you know my food and my steps and keeping moving like I like to spread them out throughout the day so yeah that is my day it is half past seven now so I am going to cut the video now and I am going to go and chill and so yeah thank you for watching um, and I hope you enjoyed my day my routine <laughs> um but yeah that's pretty much it so i'll see you in the next one like subscribe all that good stuff